Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to solve the sixth question of the Jam 2022 paper. The structure of XeFa2 minus is. So first of all, let us see the coordination number of xenon. How many ligands are attached? Eight. So coordination number, what is coordination number? It is the total point of attachment or ligands attached to the central metal atom. Here central atom is xenon side atom is fluorine so coordination number is 8 so this is again a straightforward question so let us first try to understand uh, the options and try to eliminate some options in even if we don't know the exact geometry so always remember whenever the uh, maximum in one plane it can have five atoms whenever in one plane five atoms are present then this geometry we know this is with geometry this is for coordination number seven this is pentagonal bipyramidal okay this is a stable geometry pentagonal bipyramidal this is a stable geometry and whenever in one plane there are more than five side atoms the molecule becomes unstable why? Because of the electronic repulsions, bond pair, bond pair repulsions will occur and because of the electronic repulsions, more than five side atoms in one plane is not stable. So hexagonal bipyramidal is not the, uh, it is an incorrect option because six atoms in one plane will be unstable. Octagonal is also unstable. Eight atoms can never exist in uh, one plane. So octagonal is incorrect. Now the question is between cubic and square antiprism. So you must know that the geometry is what? Square antiprism. So let us see what is the structure of square antiprism. So this big atom is xenon and these green ones are 8 fluorine atoms. Okay, so now you might say that this looks like a cubic structure but it, it is not cubic. If we see from the top, you can see that the four fluorine atoms are in between the other four fluorine atoms. Okay, if it was cubic, cubic we know all the corners are one above the other. So if we look a cube from the top, it would look like this is let's say central metal atom. If it was cubic, then from the top we would see only four fluorine atoms. And then on, remaining four fluorine atoms will be below, below the top four fluorine atoms. So that will not be visible if it was cubic. But here you can see it is completely visible. And why it is called a square antiprism? You can see from the top there is this square that is forming. And below the central atom also there is this square. And it is like an inverse prism. Okay, it is like an inverse prism you can see that is why the geometry is square because square geometry is forming and anti, anti because it is an inverse structure of a prism. Okay, so the geometry is square anti prism. So what is the correct answer? Correct option is option C. I hope you have understood the geometry of this complex. Thank you.